Big Z Reviews. Terriers is an FX uh, like crime uh, private eye TV show from 2010. I think it's kind of like a forgotten classic because, I mean, it's, it's a really good show, but it only got one season. But, I mean, it's a, it really, it's, it's a really fun show. What kind of cases do you take on? Uh, my partner and I do any number of things. Do you have a pool in these clean? do not have a pool. We recover lost property, locate people. We'll jump down, turn around, pick a bale of cotton if you pay us enough. Keep the pressure on. Are you keeping the pressure on? Yes, I am keeping the pressure on. Do you ever handle domestic cases? What do I have to do? Get laid. Marital infidelities, things like that. It happens to be one of our specialties. Who wants to watch? What's wrong? This thing's a lot more complicated than I thought. So I, rem I watched it, I think, when it originally came out but it's been like 10 years so I didn't really have too much memory about what happened and I saw that um on, on Hulu they like got now all of the FX shows and one of the FX shows that saw was Terrier so I thought I'd give it another watch and uh, I liked it a lot more than I remember liking it it's a really good show it's just too bad I mean I think I don't know because it had a really shitty title Terriers like, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, I guess the idea is that, like, they're, like, the terrier is, like, the little the little guy going after the bigger thing. And they when it bites, it won't let go. Or some of that, that's like, kind of, like, what they are. But it doesn't really get across what the show is, like, when, you, when you're looking on in a TV guide, you know? So this mainly stars uh, Donald Logue as Hank Dolworth and uh, Michael Raymond James as Britt Pollock. And um, they're like private investigators. And Donal, he w used to be uh, a cop, but he got fired for a bunch of reasons. And he was an alcoholic, but now he's clean sober. And Michael is y used to be a thief, but then now he's not, and he's working with Hank. And um, they, there's like this, the you know the the duo that they have is really is really good. Like you feel like they're friends. They feel like they are. Like, the real actors are friends, you know? The chemistry they have is great. And I like, you know, that they both have issues. They both have, like, stuff going on with in their love life and their family and their past. And, like, they, then you get the actual case. Like, it's kind of like one big case, but, like, multiple different variants that go on the whole season. And they also have a couple of other, like, private eye stuff. I think that's, like... If I could have seen, I mean, if, if they went more seasons, like, they could have done, it could have made it turn into a procedural. But at the same time, it's kind of refreshing just to have, like, this one season of the show be, you know, that this this is what it is. You know, they, it is, the or, the arc is, is completed. They pretty much complete the arc. So you're not missing anything by not having more than one season. It's just a shame that you let, when you, once you get to the end, you know, you'd love to see more of them. But I mean, the the idea is that there's this this rich where this rich real estate developer, like they there's something going on with like one of his maids, which happens to be the daughter of the main character's uh, friends, like she is disappears, and then there's like then there's like uh, her boyfriend is murdered, and that there is. Like then that then then the dad is is murdered or or dies in a weird drug overdose, and essentially he, uh, Hank Dolworth he he's going after he's gonna find, you know what is going on uh, even though he's shooting him way above his pay grade, way above you know, like he's this little guy going after these huge businesses or these huge rich people he's gonna find out, you know what is behind all this. And, I mean, it, it's a really interesting show that has a bunch of different things going on. Like, I mean, it's it's really well-crafted and well-acted. And, and, I mean, the, um, I think, you know, it doesn't look the best because it's an older footage for TV. And, and it's like, I mean, I know it's too, like, all the whites are, like, blown out. I don't know if they did on purpose or what. But, I mean, it, it's still, it's, it's worth the, you know, checking it out on Hulu. Like, I, I really love this show. It's, there's a lot to offer. If you're a fan of mysteries and, like, private eye shows, there's a lot here to love. I think it's kind of like a, a hidden gem that people, you know, don't talk about much. But it's a it's a excellent one-season show that I think, you know, more people will probably love. I'd probably give it, like, a 9.25 out of 10. But thanks for watching. If you're going to play it from my head, it's Gadget Z over there. Thanks.
This has been the Big Z TV Show Review. Thanks for watching.